Hello, everyone. Now I will show you how to format a table of contents in Microsoft Word. If this video seems too fast or slow to you, then you can easily choose the playback speed that suits you. And if you want to watch videos without sound, then just turn on subtitles. I wish you a pleasant viewing. First, I leave a blank page for the contents, in my case, it's page number 2. I place the cursor on it and go to the References tab. I'm interested in the icon called Table of Contents. I click on it and, in the open list, choose the first option. The Table of Contents appears, and I can format it according to my preferences using the settings. If your educational institution or employer has specific requirements for the formatting of the contents, you can easily specify the necessary parameters. Edit the text using the standard tools of the program. Also, go to the menu, Custom Table of Contents. Here you have more flexible options for setting the display of your contents, and you can also use the preview window to evaluate the final result in advance. Once you have finished formatting the contents, you can instantly navigate through the document. Just hold down the control key and left click on the desired heading. This way, the program automatically directs you to the selected section, which is very convenient, especially if you have a large document spanning dozens of pages. So, we covered this topic. However, you may have difficulties if you typed the text without choosing styles or if you simply copied it from the internet. In this case, the program won't be able to create a table of contents for you without additional manipulations from your side. Notice, when I click on the heading, I get a tip in the style section telling me that this is not just text, but this is a heading. Let me give it another style, for example, let it be the style of regular text. As you can see, now it even looks different. And now I will try to update the contents by pressing the corresponding icon. Look, the heading is gone. The program no longer sees the given heading and therefore does not add it to the contents. If my entire document is formatted incorrectly, without specifying suitable styles, then I won't be able to create any automatic table of contents. You see, it's all empty. To avoid this, you need to initially create a correct document with specified heading styles. If they are not specified now, then specify them manually. Look how I do it. I place the mouse cursor next to the heading. Now I go to Styles and choose a suitable option. And do the same with all the headings. Done. This is all you need to know about headings in Microsoft Word. Like this video if it was helpful. And you'll find even more useful lessons on my channel. So subscribe now. I thank you for your attention, goodbye.